we can use the nation of Israel. I'm, I'm just going to be very brief just to give you a hint such that you will sit down as the people of the of, as the as the people of this land and you know find out how does this particular tribe, this particular nation, you know, connect to the nation of Israel. Okay? Yes. You write this statement that every nation or tribe on earth is connected to a particular tribe of Israel. Every nation under the sun on earth here is connected to a particular tribe of Israel. So if, now, your tribe might not have, the your, the Kakwa tribe is not written, it might not be written, it might not have any scripture in the Bible. Amina. Mm -hmm. But now, if I want to, if I want to know who am I, how can I know it? Amina. Yes. I just, I, I just want, I just find out the tribe of Israel which I am connected to. You know, Dene, so whatever that tribe is, whatever was written on that tribe of Israel, whatever, the way how that tribe will behave, whatever that tribe is supposed to do is exactly what you people are supposed to do. To God, Israel naga nude kwa kona kulia naga dio kwa berlas kolo ba dio ku bernani choto choto kunaga ibo kulo. Can you let us go to the Bible and prove that? Deuteronomy chapter thirty two verse eight. Eh yonyo kona kupuzi mera mera kwenye mure verse. Thirty two Deuteronomy thirty two verse eight. Mera msara kwenye mure verse budo. Mhm. Thirty two. Yes. Yes. When the Most High gave the nations their inheritance. Now, are you you hear that? Number one, they have said the Bible is telling us that it's God who gave to each nation an inheritance. Are you getting it? Yes. Okay. Now. Even the Kakwas were given an inheritance. There is an inheritance you people have, oh God, from God. We have already seen that. Are we together? Yeah. So, what does the word inheritance mean? I, 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 I want to, I, I, I'm not a theologian, but I'm just going to, to, to use a few scriptures to to define it. Inheritance, it has two issues in it. One, inheritance means destiny. Or assignment. Two, this word inheritance means blessing. The blessing. Okay? Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Uh, on, on part of destiny, you can read Joshua. Joshua chapter 1, verse 6 to 7. Uh, on blessings, you can read uh, Deuteronomy chapter 8. From, uh, you can start with uh, verse either 6 or 7 to around 19. Or 10. 
If you can help me and write like this, it will help you to go back and link Now, can we explain a bit by, 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 by giving an example? What happens here when someone dies? A mature person dies. Mm -hmm. What happens? Mm -hmm. What happens? Someone has died, you have buried that person. Do you, do you, do you, do you, do you, how can I call it? Do you put a hair? For that person who has that was who has died. In your Lokonda Mugu Kumu to Jumatua, let them want to the Tanya Yumu, the Taki Biliki, and you don't want to let the Lara Guericunello, but they could pay Piri Qua, Gala Napoleon. Do you? Yes. You do you? Yes. 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 What? Why? What's the purpose? Banda, the Nanandra. Why do you put hair, a hair, when someone has died? Why do you put a hair? Yes. For continuity. Very powerful. For? That's what you call destiny. For continuity. When Moses died, okay, God had to appoint Joshua. Joshua to do what? To finish what Moses had not finished. What was the assignment which God had given Moses? Taking the children of Israel from, from Egypt to where? To Canaan. But now they are still in the desert. They are still at Kadesh. Amina. So God had to appoint another person to continue. That's why we put hair. Hair, so hair. When someone dies. So what does this one mean when God say, tells us in the Deuteronomy 32 verse 8? That he gave every nation an inheritance. What does it mean? It means that he has given every tribe, every nation a destiny. He has given every tribe, every nation. A blessing. What does the Bible describe? Something called a blessing. You go to, you read, you read the Deuteronomy chapter 8. One of the things which the Bible describes as a blessing. Uh, so good soils which you people have here Mount, mountains you know minerals I'm getting it those stones those are some of the things which the Bible describes as a blessing you know when you read Deuteronomy chapter 8 verse 6, 7 there to 10 so can we go back and finish our verse 32 verse 8 yes so that was the first part of that scripture mm -hmm. so one every nation God gave it an inheritance okay second what did God give to any when he separated the sons of man, separated the sons of man, he set the boundaries of the peoples Boundary. according to the number of the sons of Israel. Boundaries. So there are three things there. It depends on the, 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 the version of the Bible. 
Amina. He separated it. He put boundaries. Our papa was saying here that it is it, it was the colonialists mm. who separated the Kapwa, mm. the Kapwas. Mm. He even knows the Kapwas, you know. It's only the Kapwas, it's not only the Kapwas who are here. Okay? They are Kapwas in the Diara Sea, they are Kapwas in the Sudan. So you even know your boundaries. Are you getting it? You even know your boundaries. It was God who did it. I'm getting it. Why, that, why, why didn't he say that there are, there, there are couples, all the couples have land in Uganda? <laughs> he knows, you know. It, it's God who did it. Amina. You know, moon And it's God who, who decided the sort of men. That the Kakwas are supposed to be in this place. Why, why, why don't, why, do, why do, have you ever thought of, you know, why did God not put the Baganda here? And I talk about Baganda because I'm in Uganda. So, I'm, I'm getting it. I love who I am. Yeah. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. So, why, 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 why did the God put the Kakwas, some in, 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 in Congo, others in Sudan, others in Uganda? Why, why this land? Because we have known that it's God who decided our settlement. Not so. It is none of us who decided that. Uh, we, with the Kakwas, this will be our land. No. Right? Are we together? Yes. It is him who decided it. You remember what we said <laughs> that uh, he, he first drew a plan. In that plan, these are some of the things which were there. Amen. Amen. Out together. Yes. So, mm -hmm, finish that scripture. We are still in the Deuteronomy 32. Verse 8. The last part. When he separated the, the sons of man, he set the boundaries of the peoples according to the number of the sons of Israel. So, which formula did God use? When he was giving every nation an inheritance, which formula did God use? Which formula did God use when he was giving, or when he was giving, you know, the localities, the boundaries of every nation? And which formula did God use? When he was deciding the people, the way they are supposed to sit, which form of deals? What did the scripture say? According to the number of the sons of the tribes of Israel. The power of God is the number are we together? Yes. So now, so now, so now, every tribe, wherever, wherever you were seated, or wherever you were settled, or God settled you, the boundaries he set for you, the inheritance he gave you, it was according to a particular trait of Israel. So if I want to know myself, I have to look for the tribe I'm connected to. Of Israel. Are we, are we together? So the, the cup was all the people of West Nile, all the people of Northern Uganda. Which tribe are you connected 
tool of Israel. Ketimina Israel naga naga. How can I know the train? We are connected with the two trains. Do you, do you remember another scripture in the, the Bible? I think it is uh, Genesis chapter 12, verse 3. Genesis 12, verse 3. Mm -hmm. Genesis 12 of 3. Mm -hmm. And I will bless those who bless you. Mm -hmm. And the one who curse you, I will curse. Mm -hmm. And in you all, all the families of the earth. All the families of the earth will be doing, will be, will, 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 to do it. Will be blessed through who? Through who? Where did the 12 tribes come from? From Abraham. From Abraham. So now, have you have you, have you now known that all of us are supposed to be blessed through who? Abraham. Okay. So, so I think the scriptures can can inter, can can explain what what we are talking about. I go forth. Now, how can I know the tribe? Now I'm the couple here. How can I know my tribe? The tribe we are connected with. Again, you read Numbers chapter 2. Numbers chapter 2. Amen. Numbers chapter 2. What does that, the whole of chapter say? The whole chapter talks about the how the children of Israel settled the settlement. No chapter there So tell your neighbor that the settlement of the children of Israel show exactly how we how nation is settled. How the nation is settled is shown by how the nation the, the tribes of Israel settled or camped. Okay. Are you still following? Yes. Sir. Okay. okay. Now, we are not going to read that chapter because it's long. Eh? That's a yeah, almost 40, 40 verses. But you read it when you go back. So just just accept what I'm going to tell you. Yeah. 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 Now, in the north, in the north, we are talking about the settlement. How the the, the, the children of Israel, you know, camped. This their settlement. In the north, there were tribes of the tribe of Dan. And the, the tribe of Naphtali, the spirit of Naphtali. Oh, uh -huh. And the what else? Asher. 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 And in the west, they are they are they are sons of Joseph. Ephraim. Ephraim. Mm -hmm. Spelling, check the spelling. Uh, there was Benjamin. And what else? Uh huh. What about in the south? There was Ruben. No, no. There was Simeon. Simona and the God. Okay? And in the east there was Judah. Judah. And 
Ziblind, and Issachar. And in the central, where the Ark of the Covenant was supposed to be, or the, 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 the tent, or the tabernacle, we are the Lev, or the Levites. Amina, this is this is the encampment. This is how the children of Israel is settled. So you read you read that chapter. Eh? And where we have made a mistake, you correct it. But I think that's the right. Amen. So now, which tribe of Israel do you belong to? Are you connected to? You, you the Kapwas, the, the West Nilers, the Northerners. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Ephraim? No. Why? Why, why Ephraim? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You are connected to the tribes which live in the north. Amina. Now, you go back and start there. I'm giving you an assignment. You go back and start there. These tribes. You'll, you, you, you'll find that the way they behave, the way whatever their support they did, whatever it was written on them, exactly that is who you are. And that's what that's how you, you do things. <laughs> now you read you read, I'm giving you assignment. You read the Genesis 49 from verse 1 up to 28. You'll find out all the tribes, what was written on every tribe. Uh -huh. You read Deuteronomy 33. What else? Think. Okay, those ones, they will, they will tell us what what was written, what was spoken on each of the tribes of Israel. Amina. Now, what do you know about the Danites? The tribe of Dan. What do you know about them? Is there anybody you know who was a Danite in the Bible and did something? Yes. Like Samson. Samson. A hero. Amina. Hero Now, you belong to the tribe of Dan. If you go back and stand there, you, you stand there. Now, for instance, he killed uh, many Philistines. He killed very many Philistines. Amen. So, in other words, who was, what was this, what was spoken about this tribe? Can, can, let's just, just, let's just get one verse. Go to Genesis 40, 49. Genesis 49. Then Jacob summoned his sons uh -huh. and said, I, I just want to read verse. It is verse, uh, verse 16. Verse 16. Mm. Dan shall judge his people as Dan, one of the tribes of Israel. Uh, what is what was what was what was the purpose of this tribe? Justice. They were supposed to administer justice. justice. What did we say about the, the Kapwas? 
There are people of justice. People who have the truth. They will do whatever it takes until justice has been done. So this is who you are. So if you want to know more about yourself, 